Hello, fellow gamers. It's Jay with GXP. We are talking about some gameplay today in uh, uh, Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Um, if you've been playing it for any time, you, you understand that the weekends are mostly KEs or kill events. And we've been trying to reinforce castles that aren't shielded. And um, a couple of my mates have had questions. So I figured I would kind of describe the process of reinforcing and show some reports of when those castles get attacked, kind of what happened. Um, so here we go. We have a castle here. It's in our alliance, okay? It's unshielded during KE, all right? This is a bad thing because that's a vulnerable castle that the enemy can attack and plunder. So right here's a reinforcement button. If you click it, you can put up to four troops, four different legions into that castle as reinforcement capacity. So you just dispatch them out, right? Um, if you're looking to get kills for yourself, you wanna send your strongest troops and hope they're strong enough to kill whoever's coming along in the KE event. So, you know, my legion here is um, T7s, okay? They're all footmen, so they're good at reinforcing. Um, they have a good amount of, of strength, but they're not great killers. Um, and I, my, I have 1.8 million power. So as you can see, I have 92K, 91K, and 80K in this legion specifically. So I'm pushing 270,000 people troops in that legion so if i were to put that legion in and let's say three other people with similar legions put their legions in we would we would have almost a million people re, a million troops reinforcing that castle okay now we did that on a castle and we had an attack all right so this was yesterday's ke and let's kind of go over it because how can a million troops lose against a an attacker that only has, let's say, 250 or 300,000 troops? How can they beat them? Well, when we look at this report, I'll break it down on how. First and foremost, hero skills and where you are leveled up with your heroes matters tremendously. All right. So as you can see here. Uh, and also, let me back this up one second. If you look at the reinforcements of these castles, we have one person, two person, three person, and then the castle itself, okay? So each legion that is in there reinforcing has to be battled by the enemy attacker. It's not an all-out battle between all legions and the attacker. It's First uh, reinforcer, second reinforcer, third reinforcer, and then the castle, whoever's left. Um, now, if there's a fourth, there's a fourth reinforcer. And what what's, what's happening here is like you want your best troops and your best killers to be reinforcing. So when this attacker hits, their troops right here, are gonna go against your troops, all right? So their troops are T7 archers. And as you can see, they're fully awakened, maybe not fully maxed out on how many troops can be there, but they are all awakened, all right? So 98K to 93K, 97K to 93K, 98K to 75K. So you think you got it in the bag, right? But when you start looking at the skills, so let, let's look at their skills. Their dragon's 37 to this defender's 33. All right. This first hero, Northrage, level 50, every skill is open and maxed out versus every skill is not quite open and not all of them are maxed out. And you can see right here, they got a skill kills 35k versus 21k so queen anne which was used to be dual blades 
she got six skills off and she got 30k in kills versus one skill and no kills. Same again, almost all of them opened and maxed. Okay. And then 47 to 45 got seven skills off, 13k to 11k. That's that's a fairly even kill rate, but this is the the biggest difference. And that to that. Okay. So the the amount of troops does not guarantee the win. The ability to kill troops and your kill ratio matters. So if we look at the kill ratio, all right. So units defeated 123k versus only defeated 69k. Obviously, the kill ratio is in the attacker's favor. All right. And when you look at what those open skills have done, all of these on the attacker side are much higher. All right. You have higher HP, you have higher might, you have higher resistance. You know, if you click on each one of these, it tells you, you know, they have more attack power, the more resistance, more uh, skills, um, you know, more tactical resistance, more HP. They're fast. Uh, actually, they're not faster. They're equal. And they give about 2% more damage. Okay. And as you can see all the way through here, their skills and their, their, uh, attributes are advanced because of all those open skills. Okay. Now, when you watch the battle, and I'll show you that real quick. Okay. What I want to show here in the battle is this top section here is the attacker. Okay. And with the attacker, you can see that they're, they're pushing 91K, 93K, and 75K. All right. That's how many troops that they're fighting this person. So we have we have troops over here, which these are the defending troops, okay? And if you watch the battle, you'll see how each procession of the round goes and, and what heroes doing what damage. We, are, we already saw that the skills being open made a huge difference on their kill ratio, okay? So I'm going to speed this up real quick just to kind of show... So we're basically watching this number to these numbers, all right? Um, with as many troops as this defender had, they are holding up a little bit better, all right? But because of these skills, these skills are what is going to kill these numbers, all right? So every time slaughter happens for Queen Anne and she gets a suppression, it it just it deadens your ability to kill the enemy. Um, we haven't seen it just yet, so we'll see if she's going to get the suppression off. Actually, Queen Anne's not doing very, very good in this. Oh, there it is. You got the suppression from Slaughter, and that's going to stop the row from attacking. Um, so basically, you're missing out on kills every time you get suppressed. And suppression means your skills don't run either. So that that's basically a missed round for that hero. All right. And as we can see, we're in sixth round, um, typically up to eight. And you've gone through two rounds of suppression on Mulan. So, you know, right there is, is one third of your attack for each round is not happening. Um, and it looks like we're going into the eighth round. We've got... 71K, 81K, 42K, 35K, 64K, and 86K. Um, decent kills from both sides. Um, nothing horribly massive, but you can see that the kill ratio 
from the suppression is giving them the advantage. And the number of skills that they're using gives them more kills. So it just basically the the skills outweighed the number of troops in this battle specifically. Now if we go over to this one, all right, where we're we're looking at, you know, a much larger kill ratio from the attacker to the defender. Uh, 39 to 50. Obviously, you know, you can see right here, 41 K or 43 K in skill kills, you know, 10 skills used, you know, zero got off. All right. 40 K in kills, seven skills used, four skills used, 13 K, uh, 13 K in kills, six skills, 7.7 K, six skills, you know, it, when they're when they're getting so many more skill kills there it doesn't matter how many troops you have well it does but not at this level you know um until you get those skills open and you get your um enhanced troops and your enhanced gear the the skills are what win battles okay um let's just take a real quick look at I want to see these numbers um, as far as troops coming in because the next report we're going to look at. All right, so 69, 75, 24, 80. So you see 80, this was the 90, 90, and 80. Um, so we started with 90, 90, and 80. Okay. So that report basically showed that the skills kicked our ass. And... Um, that was the first attacker of us being reinforced. All right. Now the second attacker that came along, understanding that we are still inside that castle reinforcing, but we've already been through an attack battle. So as you can see, the power of the second person coming through looks like they did a lot more damage to us. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four rounds of defense. But again, you're looking at maxed out heroes. And this second attacker, every single one of his three heroes are maxed out. And he's rocking T8s. Okay? So if we look at their attributes, quite a bit stronger. Okay, so we had a tough time against T7 archers that had better skills than us. Now we're going against T8 archers. Um, yeah, T8 archers, and they are all maxed out. Okay, so um, really quick, what I want to point out also is going into this, this battle, um, I started... As a patch of kid, I started at 98, 99, and 80K. So when this second battle hits, you can see I already lost one row, one hero from the previous battle. All right. And I'm only coming in with 2000K and 78K. So your reinforcements deplete for every battle. And if they're coming in fresh, Man, they're just going to kick your ass. All right. But that's kind of where, where I really wanted to show how these break down. Um, you know, it's all about skills. Um, at this level, skills of your heroes is what wins the battles. You know. Not necessarily number of troops, although number of troops will help offset you losing by sheer just running out of troops. But you also have to have a better kill ratio. And if you have more skills open that are higher and maxed out, that kill ratio just crushes you. So, all right. Well, that's that's what I have for this 
report. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. That's that's basically KE reinforcements and and attacking whether it's rallies against giants or reinforcements or rallies against alliance buildings during case um, during ROC uh, war total war. These all work the same way. When something's reinforced, you're going through each round of defense. It's not a melee of everyone. You got to beat one to get to the next one to get to the next one. And you just got to keep going through all of them. There are some times when you get to ROC where the Alliance building that the command center or the Alliance center that you're attacking may have 15 people reinforcing it. And one person is going to have a very hard time going through that. So if you set a rally, a rally against those 15 people and your five people in your rally are stronger than all 15 of those, you'll win against their reinforcement. But it works the same way. So, all right, guys, hopefully that was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. Jay with Gameplay XP, have a great day. Enjoy your games. Bye.